Hi Pops, this is a video dedicated to you to show how truly amazing you are and to show how many people's lives you have impacted and how grateful that we are to have you in our lives. You are an amazing man and just as an amazing dad as well as an amazing grandfather. I know everyone in this video feels that way and I hope you enjoy it. One of my favorite memories of Pops is when Pops would pick me and Kelly up from school and you know take us on many adventures whether that was going to see the deer or just going home to hang out with Grams and see all the birds and look at her bird book as well as you had a huge huge impact on my softball career all those years in Venice were the start of it and I could not be more grateful and thankful for you because it got me to where I am here today and I really appreciate you and love you happy birthday Hey Keatings, happy birthday Pops. Sorry I wasn't able to make it down there. I hope you all all having a good time. Um, something I wanted to share with you all that I learned from Pops. Um, Pops used to get the door for Grandma when she walked into any store, any building, anytime they got in the car, anytime they got home. Um, Pops would always get the door for her. And I noticed it. And I know it meant a lot more than just getting the door. And uh, I had a lot of respect for that. And I just want to say thank you. And I uh, hope you all make it home safe and safe travels. And be good or be good at it. Hi, Pops. My favorite memory of you is all of your funny dad jokes, especially the ones where you turn the in <laughs> animals inside out. My favorite memories are you coming to the baseball games and go Yankees. And I like your sense of humor. Happy birthday, Pops. I remember the first time I met you and Grams, Kevin said, we're gonna go to a dinner party with my parents. And we show up and it's an engagement party for Kathy and Bob and like a lot of family members. So I was inaugurated into the family early on. And we jumped into your back seat, Kevin and I, and you and Grams were in the front. And Kevin and I, for some reason, started singing, Ave Maria. And you turned around and looked at me like, what is happening? Who is this girl? Well, this girl's still here 25 years later. You're an amazing person, amazing man. Your devotion to this family has been unbelievable. And we're so happy to have you. Happy 90th Pops, love you. My favorite memory with Pops is the summers I would spend working with him at Magic Pins while I was grossly underpaid, we had the best time and I'll always cherish those memories. And my favorite memory with Aunt Barbara was growing up and going to weddings and hearing her sing with the most magnificent voice I have ever heard. Hope you guys have a great day. Happy birthday, Pops. I love you and I hope you have the best day. Hey, Pops. Uh, I'm gonna try to make this short and sweet because I know you have a lot of people that love and care about you so you can be watching a couple of these, but I will never forget and I always remember when you took me down to Magic Pins and I was able to make a little trophy or a pin that had my name on it and I always got to take that home with me and that was one of my favorite parts of coming down to Florida uh, for Christmas and Thanksgiving breaks. So I'm sorry I couldn't make it down there but I do love you and I do miss you. Happy birthday Pops. Hey Pops, I just want to say I enjoy spending time with you a few weeks ago. And I'm looking forward to spending time with you and the family at the birthday. And, and I appreciate the work that you did when you were here. But we're not finished. As you can see, I've got more logs we need to cut. The chainsaw is ready to go. I got plenty of wood over there. So I'm looking forward to the next time you come to visit to finish the job that we that we never completed when you were here. And I also wanted to mention, you notice that I've got my salt lick out for the deer. I put the corn out, but since you left, they're not coming by, and I'm kind of wondering why. Did you were you feeding them on the side? Something I didn't know about. So I got to get you back here to take care of the deer for me. Pops, one other thing too. Your buddies Harry and Sally. I haven't seen them since you were gone. So the woodchuck hole here has been kind of barren and empty. So again, were you feeding them when you were here? Because when you left, they're gone. So I need you to come back to make sure they're well fed. And Pops, after we have the VFW for dinner, I'm going to have make sure you have your dessert. You left one of your favorite drinks here, and I want to make sure it doesn't go the way, so I'm going to save it for you on your next return. Your Sunkist Zero Sugar.
And more importantly, Pops, I want to wish you a very happy 90th birthday. Uh, you've been a great dad, and I, you know, I miss being around you, but it's good to spend time with them when we get the chance. And I also want to thank the Northerners for coming up or coming down and spending time. And also, happy birthday to you, Mooney, my godmother. Take care, guys. Enjoy the party. Happy birthday, Pops. Just want to wish you a happy 90th birthday. I've been so lucky to have such great in-laws my whole life. I love you very much. Love mom too. Um, happy birthday. Hi Pops, I love your sense of humor and I love that you came to my graduation. I had such a great time and you made it so special. Happy birthday Pops, happy 90th birthday. There's a couple individuals here that also would like to wish you a happy birthday. And that is Nelson and he's saying happy birthday. And of course, the star of the party is Charles Emerson Winchester III better known as Charlie. He is also saying happy birthday. Well, you have a lot of friends and family here, Pops, and we love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. I feel like I need to leave you with a song because you leave all of us with beautiful voicemails every year for our birthdays, and it means so much. So happy birthday to you. 90. I cannot believe it. I cannot say how much we love you and how much we just cherish you and keeping everyone in our family in a tight little knit circle. Um, it all stems from the top, which is you, and we appreciate you. We love you, and I cannot wait to celebrate such an exciting big milestone of a birthday with you. Happy 90th, Pops. Woo! Happy birthday, Pops. My favorite memory of you is when you and Grams would pick me up from elementary school every Friday and we'd go and get ice cream from the orange groves. Love you. Jack, what do you have to say to Pops? That is so nice of you. Hi Pops, I'm at the Golden Gate Bridge. I just wanted to say happy birthday and thank you for making our big, beautiful family. I can't wait to celebrate your birthday with you and I hope you have an amazing year. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Pops. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. <laughs> we love you so much. Happy 90th. Woo! Happy 90th birthday, Pops and Aunt Barbara. Love you. Okay, just want to start out by saying happy birthday, Pops. Wishing you the happiest of 90th birthdays. Um, I'm going to tell a little story about one of the first times I met Pops. So we were in Venice for Thanksgiving, and I must have been about 20 years old. And Kathy and I decided to go shopping at TJ Maxx, of course. And we took Pops' car. We got part of the way there, and we ran out of gas. So this was way before cell phones. So um, we had to stop at a random stranger's house and use their phone. And Kathy called Pops and told him what happened. And we got in the car and we started laughing so hard and we got super afraid of what Pops was gonna say when he got there. So Pops gets drives up with the gas can, walks up to the car and fills the car up with gas, never says a word, he gets back in his car and drives away. And I remember shrinking down in the seat thinking, oh my gosh, this is like one of the first times I've ever met him. He's gonna hate me now. What a terrible first impression and all that kind of thing. But turns out all these years later, here I am, part of this wonderful family. And just wanna thank Pops for including me in this family and wish you a happy 90th Pops. We all love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Pops. Happy birthday, Aunt Barbara. And the bay wants to say happy birthday. Happy birthday, Pops. Hi, Pops. Uh, something about you that makes me happy is when we have our dinner dates every month, when either I pick the restaurant and you pay, or you pick the restaurant and I pay. Happy birthday, Dad. 90 great years as I look back in retrospect and think about all the things that you've done for me and for Julie and for my children, 
and of course my brothers and sisters and more specifically um, all the love and care you showed for mom in, 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 in her trying days. The two words just keep coming back to mind and that was thank you. Thank you dad for everything you did. It was wonderful. Uh, you made me a better man and all of everybody around me appreciates that. So happy 90th birthday to you. I love you and happy 90th Barbara. Happy birthday, Pops and Aunt Barbara. Have a good day. Hey, Pops, I want to say happy 90th birthday. I'm so happy that you're my father. Uh, earlier in my life, I could have taken some turns that I decided not to take because of the family that I have and what you brought to us. Uh, I appreciate everything that you've done with my daughters uh, when it comes to watching them when they were younger. Uh, continuing to be around during their softball and really making me the man I am today. You know, I chose family over money. Um, I, caught, I think I did a pretty good job of raising my two daughters and I contribute that to you. Again, I'm very happy that you're my father and happy birthday. Ho, 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 Pops. Happy birthday. We hope you have many more. Happy 90th. Even though you stole my goddamn dog, we still love you. We love having you as a roommate. You've been for the big help around the household, and we love having you there. Hey, Pops. Happy 90th. Even though you don't look a day over 89. <laughs> Um, we love you, Dad. We're so glad you're with us in Orlando. Um, just want to say you've been a really good role model during those happy, sad, and big family times. And we love you to death, and that is no bullshit. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas.